Are you struggling to make money during inflation? Warren Buffett is a legendary investor who has made billions of dollars over the course of his career. In this video, discover Warren Buffett's invaluable tips and strategies to make money during times of inflation. Learn from one of the world's greatest investors and start investing in the right places today. Inflation is a major concern for everyone at the moment, including individuals, companies, investors, and politicians. This has been a big concern and a topic of conversation over the last year and a half. In this video, we will discuss the various kinds of investment options available to investors during inflationary periods, as mentioned by Warren Buffett. At 92 years old, he has experienced inflation many times and has sound knowledge on the subject. So let's get started. According to Warren Buffett and other prominent investors such as Ray Dalio, the worst thing one can do during periods of inflation is to hold cash. This is because during inflationary periods, the cash saved in a savings account will be worth less with each passing day, week, month, and year. One of the most important points I want you to take away from this video is that, as an investor, you need to consider the returns of your investments. In what are known as real terms, you must also account for inflation to obtain the real value of your asset's purchasing power. For example, if you get a 12% return in one year, but inflation that year is 7%, then the real return is actually 5%. Secondly, we have bonds. These investments are generally considered very safe by conventional investor wisdom, but Buffett would argue that these investments are not really so safe when taking into account the impact of inflation. Let me explain what I mean. The current performance of the U.S. 10-year state bond is fluctuating. It has seen a recent increase in yield reaching its highest point since March 2020. This rise in yield is due to inflation concerns and the Federal Reserve's decision to keep interest rates high to kill inflation. However, the bond market remains volatile, and its performance is subject to change in response to economic and political developments. Investors are now pricing at least three more 25 basis point rate hikes this year and betting that interest rates will peak around 5.5% this year which is not crazy considering that the current inflation is more than 7%, it would mean that if you buy a U.S. state bond at 10 years, you would get a negative annual yield every year for a decade, after taking into account the impact of inflation on your return. This is still better than simply keeping the money in cash, but still far from the best alternative. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far and want more topics like this, please like and subscribe to the channel so I know. The next Warren Buffett's tip for making money during inflation is to invest in unproductive assets. These include gold, silver, and other precious metals. These assets are not terrible to own during an inflation period, as they should, in theory, keep up with inflation in the same conditions. However, they are unlikely to increase your purchasing power. Warren Buffett has been known to be critical of investing in gold, as he sees more value in investing in productive assets. However, he recently advised investors to consider investing in gold during times of inflation. Inflation can erode the value of paper currency, and gold is seen as a hedge against inflation. Therefore, Buffett's advice to invest in gold is based on the current economic conditions and the potential risks of inflation. He still believes that productive assets such as stocks and real estate are better long-term investments, but gold can serve as a safe haven during times of uncertainty. On the other hand, Warren Buffett's recent advice to consider investing in gold during inflation has caused controversy among investors and financial experts. Buffett has been a longtime critic of investing in gold, and his advice has surprised many in the investment community. Some experts agree with Buffett's recommendation, citing gold's ability to act as a hedge against inflation and currency fluctuations. However, others have criticized his advice, arguing that gold is not a productive asset and does not generate income. Some believe that investors should focus on investing in productive assets such as stocks and real estate. Keep watching because I have a solution for that later in the video. Now, as investors, we not only want to keep up with inflation, but we also want our investments to produce real performance that exceeds inflation. This is where Warren Buffett's reference to unproductive assets comes into play. We all know that Buffett made his fortune by buying shares and entire companies. Businesses can be regular or very successful. Regular businesses have a few characteristics. 
one of which is that they require a lot of additional capital, meaning a lot of cash to keep operating. These businesses are also known as capital-intensive or having high capital expenditure, CAPEX. Unfortunately, most of them will not do well in real terms during inflation. Although their profits can rise significantly over time, they are forced to invest more and more money into the business just to stay in the market. The worst type of business is one that constantly requires more money without yielding higher profits. The automobile industry is a good example of capital-intensive companies. They must continuously purchase raw materials and produce new vehicles to maintain their prices with inflation. Companies without the ability to settle and fix prices should generally be avoided during inflationary times, as this could lead to a financial burden for the company. Thus, it is important to ensure that one has good knowledge and understanding of a company's pricing regulations before investing in it. To clarify my point about companies without the ability to fix prices, let's go back to the previous example. The automobile sector has a high level of competition, making it difficult to raise prices if they do not have a distinctive quality that makes them unique, such as luxury cars. Otherwise, customers would buy another brand. An even clearer example would be a company that manufactures T-shirts, which although they incur higher costs for raw materials and manufacturing, this business cannot just set any price they want, as customers are likely to shop around for the cheapest option from competitors. Price is usually the primary factor when making a purchase decision. An inflationary environment will be very hard for this company. The cost of the materials and labor needed to make the shirts is increasing. Unfortunately, the cost of shipping shirts to customers is on the rise, and the company cannot pass this additional cost on to consumers. Companies without the ability to adjust their prices according to inflation will find it challenging to cope with the economic consequences. Conversely, a business with robust pricing power like Apple has an array of faithful customers willing to pay for their products regardless of cost. For example, if someone wishes to purchase an iPhone, they would not opt for another brand just because it is cheaper. They have an ecosystem and reputation that deters customers from going to the competition, allowing them to raise prices with more margin. With this example, we will move on to the next and best of Warren Buffett's tips to make money during inflation, which is Investing in assets that have the capability to generate income is known as investing in productive assets. This is a wise and profitable strategy that can boost your earnings over time. Let us say that an entrepreneur invests $100,000 in developing a program that generates $120,000 in the first year, resulting in a profit of $20,000. This is very good, but it gets even better in the following years, since this type of business usually requires a very small investment, and of course, much less than the initial investment. These are considered light capital companies, since the investment required to maintain their operations is minimal which is exactly what Warren Buffett refers to in the video I leave below. They are usually the best. These are the businesses that you buy once, so you don't have to make continuous capital investments due to inflation, thus avoiding the problem of having to reinvest greater and greater amounts of money. Additionally, the company I was referring to can raise the price of the program to counteract or even offset the effects of inflation, if they decide to do so. During periods of high inflation, it pays to invest in companies that require less capital, have strong pricing power, and are well diversified. Such businesses offer the best opportunities for growth and long-term returns. As we already know, Warren Buffett is known for his philosophy of value investing, which involves investing in businesses that have strong fundamentals and are undervalued by the market. He looks for companies with a competitive advantage, a strong brand, and a long-term growth potential. Buffett also emphasizes the importance of investing in businesses that have a sustainable business model and generate consistent cash flows. He focuses on the intrinsic value of a business and invests with a long-term horizon, believing that short-term market fluctuations should not dictate investment decisions. Now, the best solution and most easy way to make money at the same speed as Warren Buffett's is to invest in Berkshire Hathaway, Inc., and let Warren Buffett's team do all the work for you. This way, you will not have to follow the investment of Berkshire Hathaway, like buy and sell and time it correctly.
Berkshire Hathaway Inc. with Warren Buffett's will take care of all. For some people, this will make them sleep well at night, even when the stock roller coaster makes a big noise running up and down. I would like to say something that I think is obvious. I am not a financial advisor or an expert in economics. I honestly don't know what's going to happen to the stock market like everybody else. We can all benefit from studying and reflecting on the lessons of history. Learning from history is essential for understanding the present and preparing for the future. By studying past events, we can gain invaluable insights into the human condition. It is beneficial to gain an understanding of how different processes operate and be prepared to act when the opportunity arises. I hope that this video has been useful to you and that you learned something new. Now, if you want to know how to how to invest this year, I recommend you watch this video next. Do not hesitate to share this video with people you know who want to know what is happening in the economic world. Subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts on today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.